I'm going to die. 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 Let's go. Okay. Woo. All right. Let's go. Tippity toe, tippity toe, tippity toe, tip 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 toe. Tippity toe, tippity toe, tippity tip 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 toe. Everybody, everybody. Come on, sing it. Yeah, yeah. Show the love your body. Yeah, yeah. Up, uh. Fra uh, Friday night, we're all together. Which band is that? Is it new, new Kids? No. Yeah, it's the New Kids. Yeah, yeah. everybody. Or oh, is it Backstreet? Backstreet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Backstreet. Backstreet. Back. All right. It's the back door man. boys. Back. That's the stern of the gang. Used to back door uh, in the homophobic late 90s. Huh? Be like. Anyway, great to be here, folks. It's October 10th, 1002 a.m. on the Pacific coast uh we are coming to you live from glendale california where it is quite nice out oh i'm embarrassed i got i'm not set up the right way here look how embarrassing my oh no okay i look like doug's um those the shrimp the shrimp guts from last week hold on uh vamp for me boys vamp oh you mean oh, the, sh the bubble gum dump shooters there it is. Oh, you went mute on me, you little, that's smart. My audio engineer, Luke, who I call boy for some reason today. <laughs> call him son. Good morning. Oh, son. I call him son. son. Yeah. I got you, son. Just calm down. <laughs> I, he's, so, he's like a little <laughs> child. You're the one I should be calling boy. Son. Huh? I didn't introduce you yet. Well, I was filling space. You can fill space other, in other <laughs> ways. Just gotta fill the sound in. Hey everybody, Tim Heidecker here. It's Thursday, October 10th, and uh, we're happy to be here. We've got a great show today. I want to introduce my co-hosts today, DJ Doug Pound. Good horning. And Victor the Burger. I'm going to do... Vicious, Vic, say, vicious, vicious, Vic, vicious, Vic. What's sip, everybody? Uh, Carson filled this to the brim. I'm doing a little hot and cold. It's okay. kind of nice. It wakes me up. Vicious Vic nice. Burger. It's me. You like that? Yeah. And Captain Carlin. Good day. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Swinging a miss. <laughs> What's wrong with good day? Good day. Good day, this sir. I hate those guys that good are day, like, sir. always in character, and they're always like, remember that one guy that interned for us years ago? You would see him in the bathroom. He'd go, good day, sir. Oh, that's <laughs> Milady. Miladies. That is the captain. <laughs> captain Carlin. How's it going, gentlemen? Yes. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, I bid you a good day. <laughs> a doodle do. <laughs> Let's get some business out of the way. First of all, we have Nick Nanny coming in today. Nick I'm Nanny excited. is uh, a rising, shining young star. Shining. Young. This guy couldn't be younger. <laughs> oh, he's laughing off camera. Yeah. Already. Huh. Trying a new approach to the show today by actually having them not be sitting here listening to me and watching me and being confused. Uh, we're going to actually so do young. a big intro, almost like in the Johnny Carson. I am show. a young, vibrant. I want to watch. I forgot, totally forgot about this. So young. But you, we, I want to watch later. Maybe we'll watch in the second half the Johnny Carson goofing on the Beatles oh, yeah, before the Ed Sullivan show. So I found this thanks to the uh, Carson Estate or whoever it is. Thank you, Carson, our intern. I mean, our pro segment producer, our producer, Carson. <laughs> Associate <laughs> Thank producer. Thank you, son. Pro Thank you, son. Um, no, my YouTube gave me this clip of the, I guess it was like the week, the week that the Beatles arrived in America, 1964. Carson and McMahon are goofing on them. Like, I mean, Beatles, you hear these Beatles mm. coming over? They're going to... And they're, they had the merch, they had the wigs. Yeah. So Carson's trying on the wigs, and you know everyone's like uncomfortably laughing about the shit that they don't understand. It's pretty cool, but Carson makes a huge mistake. Uh oh. What's he? he uh, well, maybe I'll racist? reveal. We'll see if you guys pick up on this. We'll, sh we'll pull the clip, Matt. Can you get that ready <laughs> for the second half? Absolutely. Ed Sullivan. From uh, Bye Bye Birdie. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> you just happen to have... <laughs> I have that ready. I've, uh, yeah, I've had, had it ready to go. Ed Sullivan. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Hey, folks, right. Where's this clip? Do we have this clip? Honestly? We'll get to it later. Uh, I think we're it's talking fantastic. about it now, though. But I wanna, it's called a tease. Uh, but Ed's, I mean, Johnny totally Carson makes forget. a big mistake, and it it, it 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 relates to something we care deeply about. The Three Stooges. No, what? is it? Wow. <laughs> Vic, are you watching this program? I am not watching. I swear to God. No, you'll like, see what happens. Does Mo come out? Oh, my God. <laughs> <Mo> uh, <laughs> I gotta see this now. Just you're gonna, you're gonna see it. <gasps> just join the Patreon. Mm. It's Five dollars, Vic. <laughs> All right. All right. A um, couple of more items of business. Uh, this Saturday at 11 a.m. on the Pacific Coast. Matt, what is that on the East Coast? 11, 12, 1, one, two, two. one, one p.m. Um, no, two, two p.m. Two p.m. Two. Two pay e.m. <laughs> Doug. Not bad. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> oh my god! It's interesting, I think. To pay EM. EM. I don't like him. No. Um, ah! Everyone's in the Zoom is just like stone face. <laughs> is this not good stuff? Feels good to me. Uh, 2 p.m. on the East Coast, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we're going to be listening to the new album, Slipping Away, which is a week early. We're going to give a, a sneak peek. And that's only for patrons, so stand by and stand back. Stand back, stand by. <laughs> For your link. <laughs> back and stand by. <laughs> Remember when he said that? <laughs> the lunatic. He's just, he's he's just ad libbing. <laughs> he didn't mean to like call <laughs> them. That's the best. <laughs> he, didn't mean, he didn't mean to say that. <laughs> he doesn't want the Proud Boy support, but he, now he has it. Like, oh shit. <laughs> I am not on painkillers, folks. I don't know what's going on. Something really funny is going on in the room. I'm going to laughing gas being pumped in. (laughs) We got Nick Nanny energy happening. Um, So join Patreon at patreon.com slash office hours live to hear it front to back. And then me and some of the band, I think we're all going to be in the Zoom. And you guys can say, well, what uh, microphone did you use on that song? (laughs) Today, we're also going to be making fun of my Rolling Stone cover. Of course, I'm on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine today. He gagged me. And take your calls. But first, anything else, Matt? Oh, um... Did I announce the big winner? We have a big winner to announce for the Hurricane Helene relief package. Uh, Do we want to make that announcement now? Yeah, of course. Top of the show. This is big. Yeah. Brent (laughs) Clower. What a lot of uh, pomp and circumstance that got. Huh? Brent Clower. Brent Clower. <laughs> Congrats, Brent That's Clower. Good. No yeah. drum roll, no nothing. Hang on. Oh, sorry. I gave a drum roll. There you go. I couldn't tell if you're trying to rush through it. You're right. But Brent Clower, and thank you all for your oh, donations. Wow. We raised more than nine hundred dollars. That means we raised nine hundred and one dollars. Wow. wow. It was like this show just can't be about talking about confused. numbers. No, we raised over nine hundred dollars. And also my uh, Mr. Pumpkin song. I'm sorry, uh, Pumpkin Man. Raised an additional thousand dollars. Thank you for purchasing that digital download. And so we're throwing that in the pot. And Office Hours has agreed to supplement that with an additional five hundred dollars out of our own pockets. So that brings our total up to twenty-five hundred dollars raised here in this community. Yeah, but that was last week's hurricane. Who gives a shit? <laughs> we got a new hurricane now. Let's. Why are we talking about that? It's over. Um, all right. <laughs> we don't support Florida. Florida. Well, it's time to. We'll talk about yeah, this, but it is Florida time to course. abandon ship with the old uh, with the fort with the peninsula. It's time to lop it off, send her to the sea. God bless them, though. We do have a couple of shows. Uh, the the slipping away tour has a couple of shows in Florida, so they have to get back on their feet as soon as possible. Have you played <laughs> Florida before, Tim? Yeah, I played. T- oh, maybe I was Tampa? there. I was yeah. there. I was I'll there. be there with Tampa. you, I think. Okay. We played Tampa, baby. 
But Tim right. and Eric, you guys never did, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, we oh, you did. did. Yeah, oh. we did over the years. Oh, okay, but it, it, we took a big, long break from Florida mm -hmm. because that is the, the reasoning is, and I've talked about this the routing. It is hard from, you know, you're, you're either Atlanta or New Orleans, like to get from, <laughs> look at you guys, that's pretty quick. Atlanta. <laughs> To get to the biggest city is it's a big drive, and then you got to drive back out of there, so it's it, it often gets left off the itinerary. All right, let me double check if I have anything else on the agenda. Don't want to keep Nick waiting. Um, that's all I have, uh, and of course. It is good to be go with, you, with you guys, as always. And thank you wonderful. for your support for my uh, major surgery last year, last week. We shall begin with our first guest, our only guest, although we have a special guest coming in for the second half who came with Nick, so that's going to be an mm. exciting tease. Mm. It's not Ed Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be Jim Sullivan? Who's Jim Sullivan? He is the folk singer who was abducted by a UFO. Copy that's that. right, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, from New York, the great one, Nick Nanny. Oh, Bring him in oh, here. Let's get in here. Oh, oh there look he is. at this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh oh. oh. Am I gonna over? Oh, no, Everything's I can't do that. Everything in what here. What am I gonna hump? What am I gonna hump? What am I gonna hump? Oh, oh. Ooh, this looks like the one right here, right? You set it up for me. You're welcome to it. If that's okay, what you here we do. go. Let's do it. Ready? Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very good. All right. Fuck the stool. Fantastic. Yeah. Good for oh. you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Applause. <laughs> wow. Good. Good to see you, Nick. Good to see you too, Tim. Thank you for having me. You know, it's it's rare that they have a, a stool for you on these morning <laughs> podcasts, but well, we went out and got that for this you. This is this is perfect. This is like, you know, this is what you dream of right here. It's got a stain. <laughs> It's uh, it's metal, but there's what is this cardboard or is let me it see wood? that again. Let me see. Let me see the. Um... You want to see me fuck it again? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ten, I don't know why I'm into, nine, why no, I'm into no. that. Okay, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then you can do a little bit of this right over here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. that's a new one. That's the new one. A lot of people don't do that one. Orgasms. But you want to try anything else out? Just yeah. Should I? Yeah. Something. What Maybe do you What do you want? Maybe the wall. Yeah, the wall's good. Are there any holes? Holes are good. No uh, holes, unfortunately. No holes. Painting my dog. Uh, there yeah, we go. That one. Yeah, yeah, try that one. Let's Nick's try dog. That. Okay, here we go. Ah, ah, ah. There he goes. Ah, 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 ah. That's good. I don't know if Doug? I can reach Thanks, Doug. Buddy. Yeah, maybe no. I'll try it. Here we go. This is yeah, do you want something to get up on? Here. Yeah, wait. Let me help you. Maybe use this. Give me a lift. Oh, no, yeah, move that out of the way. Yeah, here we go. So you can get up on that stool. Yeah, so I can hump Doug's face. Here we go. Is yeah, that Doug or Adam Conover? I can't that's tell. Doug, actually. That's Doug. Well, I okay. Think, yes. Nice stop. <laughs> All right. Is that too? Cl yeah, we oh, don't. This want is going to be a disaster. Hurt. This is. Don't hurt yourself. Here, look okay. back, back off the back. This <laughs> up a bit. Okay. Yeah. Here we, the key. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh boy! Watch that wire. Here we there go. We go. Ready? Ready? You feel safe? Okay. I th yeah, I feel good. Wait, hold on. Let me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh, okay, uh, there it is. Uh, uh, sex, uh, sex, wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right. Sex, wow. Sex, sex. Woo. That's pl that's plenty of uh, humping. That's plenty of humping. At that's the really yeah. Uh, we might get a little more later in the show. Okay, we'll good. Yeah, yeah. I, what about the floor? I'm sorry. What about the the rug? The <laughs> rug? Yeah. I mean, well. <laughs> okay. Hey, nice. you know you're. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. All right, here we go. Down Hold here. Hold on, we'll let camera, let yeah, camera, camera get down here. See how low they can go. You want to make sure the shot's wide enough? Uh, he's working on it. Uh, I'm going to... We good okay, to go? Here we go. There, yep, I'm, I'm ready in, for you. in Video Village? All right, here we go. Ah, here ah, it goes. Ah, 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 ah. Hoktua. Yeah. Ah, oh. Multiple ah, orgasms. Ah, 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 ah. It's okay. technical. Nice. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you. 
All right, do you want to take a Zoom? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, who wants to speak to me or Nick, or we can get into it with Nick? Yeah. Give him a minute humper. to catch his breath. Any humpers out there want to talk? Everyone's like, no, thank you. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> a, there's a path. Let's go to the hotline. Let's, Let's see. Wow, it's done. Yeah. Finally, the Zoom audience has been stunned <laughs> into, uh, <laughs> into submission. They're just like, I'm not sure I want After to After I did that this. with the stool, that's, uh, yeah. that's a lot of work. <laughs> Matt Chestnut on the uh, hotline. Matt? Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? You know how it's going. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, Oakland, California, and I have a, I have a bone to pick with uh, airline passengers. All right, let's get yeah. Nick's take on and, this, my uh, take. We're gonna keep Vic out of this yeah. one. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Do you guys want me to kind of unleash what I got going on, or do you want? Should I moderate? Set it message? free. Set it free. Let's hear it. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's not overtly right, so like racial or uh, homophobic <laughs> or anything, I'll no, drop you like not, a hot stone. Will, it, okay, all right. So maybe, maybe we need a little bit of adult re-education in this country. Yeah. Because as soon as people get in the terminal, they forget how to act. There's no decorum. There's no etiquette. Wait, this is Nick's stand-up they routine. Walk no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is this already been done? Yeah, no, there's breaks, ahead. right? Well, well, give me a couple examples here, and we'll see what we can do about it. Okay. So if you don't know what's happening in a busy terminal, Tim, do you and your family stop with all of your luggage in the <laughs> middle of the terminal <laughs> and get in the way of everybody? No. No, no, no. You keep the, you keep the no, flow keep moving. You keep the flow moving. Yeah. Or you pull over. You pull over. Mm -hmm. another, yeah, yeah, sure. another example, if you, if you store your carry-on towards the back of the plane during the deboarding process, do you have the right to push past several rows and go grab your carry-on? To, to get back to your shit? I think you do. Oh, okay. You I mean, don't wait for other people to deboard the, the rows? Oh, you're between? saying when, yeah. when the plane lands and then the people behind you run up real quick. No, 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 no. no. Pack, Stop that. Yeah. Calm down. Because that's what I don't like. I'll here's what, what he's talking about. Let's say you're sitting at seat 20. Uh -huh. You get on there, and there's no room above you at seat 20, so you go back to seat 25 to put your it's bag, pretty, yeah. and then you go back to your seat at 20. The plane lands. You get up and fight your way to 25 to get your shit. Mm -hmm. You should have to sit there and wait for everyone to get off before you go back. Yeah. That's what you're Correct. suggesting, People right? don't this, do this that. Is the People don't do that. No holds barred take. I know. Yeah. What would, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank God. This is what we needed. Uh, yeah. Uh, a warning for a trigger warning. Yeah, this is some pretty PG stuff, man. <laughs> I'm with okay, him on that right. first so one. Maybe oh, we do, oh, maybe oh, we do unquestionably, adult, I do think it's a terrific point. At my family, like, yeah. get out of the middle. But the second, the second one, when they have to go back, it's usually because they, everybody ran out of storage in the front, and then the the steward. Yeah, we could just make we could just make way. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm with Vic. Yeah. See, I, mm, I, I think it causes chaos. I think it's not a big deal for you to wait for the plane to deboard to get yeah. your shit. I think or just get another policy. door on the airplane, like they do everywhere in the. The world, except here, right? Remember that? They should open the back. The back well, door. Just I hate when up. you're on the plane and the guy next to you, he starts watching what you're watching, uh -huh. and he leans in, and then he <laughs> starts going on your screen, and he, and he watches his own thing on your oh thing. Oh, my God. And you have to sit there and let that him happen. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? You ever about? have these guys? <laughs> Some what? These guys. Or the guy yeah, next they, to you, they... he falls asleep, and then he starts drooling on your oh, shoulder, no. and then right. his arm, he's, you're like not sure if he's asleep, and then his arm comes down between your... It's the worst thing that this happens. Guy. I you know, know that, these guys? I know these guys. These yeah. types. I'm just what, trying what? to watch three billboards and Yeah, and then they come good. around yeah. with the they come around with the pretzels and the nuts and this guy grabs yours too. Your nuts. I, I, what I hate is when my fully reclining bed, you know these fully rec reclining beds, mm. <laughs> <laughs> they go back like 90% of the way, the but then there's this here. little hinge in the middle and it's like trying I'm like, "Oh, okay. No, I'm just I hate when you're walking through first class when you first get on and these first class people are like staring you down and throwing trash at you. Oh yeah, <laughs> get out of our. There's I, I went back aisle. in the coach the other day and this guy in the in first class is holding his nose as we pass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh yeah that's God. the kind of that's stuff. That's a I lot. Mean. Nick, what's happening with you? You've got a new podcast coming. Got out? a new podcast that's, coming well, out. We are Bye, at our, we are at our limit. Uh, you, Did oh, you get a, that message? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I'm the last one. Okay, they maybe. let you. They grandfathered yeah, yeah, you guys. Yeah. They through? grandfathered us in. Uh, me and Dan Licata. We love uh, Dan Licata uh, and wonderful. Um, 
his special was one of the few things that I promoted as something I recommend mm -hmm. in the world of comedy this year. Yeah, uh, he's great. Uh, he just graduated high school, and uh, <laughs> he's a wonderful, uh, a smart kid. Smart kid, yeah. real smart. You know, me and him were both very young comedians. So uh, we started a podcast called Chicken Pod Majan. And, uh, Say again? Chicken Pod Majan. Chicken Pod Majan. <laughs> yeah, it's the first podcast uh, about being Italian American. So. Oh, that's um, fun. Yeah. And you are Italian American. I am Italian American. Where's the so. nanny China, come from? The Chinese chicken. I mean, it's a, it's a it's an Italian <laughs> word. Italian uh, name? No, it's actually it's an Ellis Island name. Really? Yeah, for real. It's uh, yeah. My great grandmother came over and they asked her what she did, and she said, "I watch the children," and so they they gave her nanny. Oh, nanny. So, yeah. Ah. So. Is that for real? That's for real. What? I yeah. watch the children. I watch the children. Oh. And they spelled it wrong. What, so. what part of the old country are your family from? Sicily. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and then you, where do you, you live in New York? But yeah. you're from that. You're not from New York. I'm from New York. I'm from Long Island. Ooh. And that's yeah. like this guy. Oh yeah. Captain Carlin. A terrible place. It's terrible. really awful. You gotta get out. What city is it? It's a zoo. How close are you from? And the, the traffic other? these days. Forget oh my it. God. What are you woodline? Beep beep. I'm saying over here. It stinks. Cold Spring Harbor. Who me? Yeah. Oceanside. No, you're not. Yeah. I'm from Oceanside. Get out. Oh! Of you're kidding me. I think we had this conversation. Did we have, yeah, I think we did. Years ago. Yeah. Really? You know each other? We met. Oh, we did geez. meet. Is there a history here? We met at an Oceanside, uh, Oceanside. reunion. Members <laughs> club. All right, who's on Zoom? And also, by the way, we're going to talk to Nick Lutzko in a, in a little we're bit. We're not. No, he's he can't. What? Yeah, sorry. But he does have a new... Uh... Oh, how are you going to know that, not me? God damn it. He texted oh, me, you, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Well, we recommend this new video from Nick Let's Go Anyways. It's a very funny um, Halloween-themed music We'll catch video. up with him, so. okay. Who uh, do we have on the Zoom? Zoom room? Uh, our old pal, uh, Cowboy Nat, we haven't talked to in a while. Usually these are for good, good reasons. Good reason. Hi. Hello. Hi, I have much better internet this time. Sorry about last time. There we go. We don't That's even right. remember, Nat. Yeah, we've, we've wiped okay, it nice. from our memories. How can we help you? <laughs> Ideal. Um, I, have a re I have a couple stories for you. I have one main story. First, hi from London. It's 6.23 in London right now. Copy that. I'm on the set of the play that I told you about. Yes, we have a playwright in our audience. Oh, wow. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Pretty serious. It got published. Here it is. Whoa. Available in bookstores, even in America. Yeah. I'm going to head on down to um, Samuel French. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, but the story I have, thank you, everybody. Um, the story I have is that a couple nights ago, we finished the show, and a guy came up to me um, who I've never met before, and he was a lovely guy, coincidentally named Vic. Hello. And he said, he's a, he's a British fellow, and he said, I saw you on Office Hours, nice. and that's how I heard about the play. And wow. that's, uh, let's, and you guys let's so, so you make all the connections in the real world. Yeah. Beautiful story. <laughs> All right, congratulations. That was amazing. We had a hug. It was it was great. That's nice. A great community out there. Doug's always talking about meeting Office Hours fans. On what the hell is going on in England? <laughs> <laughs> well, when's, how long is your show running for? Let's get more Office Hours freaks out there. Did John Galantino yeah. come down? No. I, I don't know. He's got to say hi afterwards. Mm. Uh, but this is our set. You know, we got like a pub back there. And wow. we got taps and so on. And there's, you know, this rug and all this stuff. Um, yeah, it's on till Monday. There's five more shows tonight, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. All right. Wow. Well, good luck. I hope you win the Pulitzer Prize. Look for out it. for that net above. Very you, kind. Somebody's trying to. I know. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, a trap. it's a trap. It's atmospheric. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Ray. Thank you, guys. Matt and I went to go yeah. see, and you saw recently, Megalopolis. Oh yeah. He's back. The king. FFC. FFC, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we say about Megalopolis? Uh, Guess who's back? I had a great time with it. Yeah. Uh, it's very, I would say it's, I put, I, a lot of problems with it. Oh, yeah. A lot of flaws. Big swing. I love a big swing. D I, ah! We all love a big swing. Matt, do you agree with do you disagree with anything I've said so far? So far we said big swing. I agree with that. Uh, it's not quite an Otani swing is what you're saying. No. Uh, 
Big swing. Uh, I think you liked it more than I did, or appreciated more than I did. Uh, but, uh, appreciated the wildness of it. Um, my, Nick, when I saw chime it, in if you yeah, go ahead. Yeah, when I saw it afterwards, I was waiting. Uh, for my wife in the bathroom and three. You were in the women in the women's room. I was in the women's room. You were I was in there. To, you were, were waiting for her to come in. I was waiting you for surprise. Her. Yeah, give me a surprise in the women's room. Yeah, can I tell my fucking story? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Sorry, man. Uh, I was waiting for. Just trying to have her. fun. Just trying to have fun. All right, I get. I thought you were serious now because that Rolling Stone thing. But, no, uh, no. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> but I was waiting, and and three separate couples where the guy was like, had this kind of posture, passed by me, and they all said something to the effect of, hey, it's not a Marvel movie, you know. <laughs> and, and at, at least it's not a Marvel movie. Right, <laughs> yeah. Defen they felt they were on the defense. Yeah, that's the glowing review right. these days. It's not one of these Marvel movies, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there are sequences in it that are, I think, great. Yeah. Truly insane. Uh -huh. some, se some sequences are great and insane. Some sequen sequences are insane and terrible. Right. Some things are just kind of bad. Some mm -hmm. things are fine. It's very strange. Yeah. It's singular. Yeah. Uh, well, let's and nothing is followed up upon at all. Yeah, you yeah. made a good point. And I, we, let's go spoiler alert. Let's go spoiler alert. Uh, there's this thing, there's a device in the movie, or a plot point. You can speak about this. Where, where Adam Driver can stop time, mm -hmm. but then he doesn't use it for anything. You know, he just, <laughs> yeah. he just stops so we'll time trick. like three times. Do you think it gives him some time to think, maybe? I would hope. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I wanted to stop time going to that women's bathroom, you know. Hey, but, uh, I love peeping. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I could be invisible, whoo wee, uh, I'd be peeping all over the place. Peep, 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 um, peep, 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 peep. There you go. <laughs> you know who's great in it? John Voight. Oh, my I God. Have to say it. I have to MVP. say it. MVP. John Voight. MVP. You gotta love That's John. That's good to Boyd. hear. He's crazy in it. He's man. really nuts. And yeah. uh, and the other like there's a lot of bad guys in it. What's his name? Shia LaBeouf. P. Yeah. He's good in it too. Shia, Shia LaBeouf. Trump loves. Nice you think photo. Trump's ever gonna watch uh, <laughs> Megalopolis? Well, did you hear that De Niro said he could never make it? He it, they did an interview with De Niro about Megalopolis, and he said. Donald Trump could never make this movie. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Okay. You can say that about a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird point to make. Well, I was going to, it's kind of funny to think about this is the bane of my life, Matt. We have to fix this. Zoom there? Is that what's going on? No, it's. Be How did it just start? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? What's going on here? I will explain it to you off the air. This is a megalopolis <laughs> shit. It is. It's trippy. It's trippy. Yeah, it's computer. I, I don't know how to deal with it, Luca. Tim, just stop time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Stop time and we'll fix it. Me and Vic will freeze. <laughs> it's insane because I'm trying to turn the sound off of wherever. It's... Oh, I know why. I'm gonna because it's. It's already down. Check. I think it's going to be cut. Let me let me zoom here. You make a good point. I think it's fixed. Wait. Oh, chip. Is it only Tim? I'm just I'm off zoom. Sorry, Matt, you're in charge of zoom. That's it. God damn it. I, it's this unit, it's this Apollo unit, man. Well, I'm telling well, you, it just drops out. It might be time to get a new new unit. Um, uh, let me back up for a sec. What the hell were we talking about? Megalopolis. Megalopolis. Well, yes, I know. Um, oh, that's well, I was like, you know. Performances, maybe. Hey, Donald Trump, your uh, your big your close friend, uh, John Voight, is in a movie. Mm -hmm. You should see it. You should see, you should see <laughs> your friend's movie. But ultimately, I'm going to say this. I think it's a worth, it's a worth going to the movies to see it because it's just an experience. Yeah. Mm. What was weird about it was where I saw it. It was pretty full, too. Mm -hmm. Where I saw it was, like, packed. 
Right? Wouldn't you say? It was pretty full. Surprisingly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so you like that part where Adam Driver says, in the club? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was very cool. And what I felt in that room, there was a real desire for this mm. movie to be like the room. For it to be like right. a full, right. I- I- ironic uh-huh. experience where we're going to watch this disaster. Yeah. And I think it kind of, there were a few moments people burst out laughing because yeah. that's what they wanted. Right. Like when they said they're going to name the baby Francis. Did you mm. catch that moment? Oh, yeah. That place erupted. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it wasn't quite that. It wasn't bad enough mm. to be like a disaster, like watching a, you know, Neil Breen movie or something. Yeah. It was fascinating. Wait, why is, why is Francis a, a laugh? Just because the name? Francis Ford Coppola? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, that's yeah. what I well, thought. Yeah. If, if it's a girl, we'll name her... Starlight Moonshine. If it's a boy, we'll name him Francis. Oh my it God. came out of nowhere. It was just very weird. <laughs> Everything in the I went movie to came out of nowhere. <laughs> but that was the sec- and that was the second time because Giancarlo Esposito's character is also named Frank, and then he says, I'm "Oh, Frank," but also you could also Francis. So it wasn't. It wouldn't be out of nowhere to name the baby Francis because no. it would be after the the granddad. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey Plaza's great in it, and she's great. Know, I love that name. Wow, Platinum. Uh. <laughs> So weird. I'm gonna change There's my name. Be a bunch wow. of babies named Wow Platinum now. Yeah. You know it. Yeah. Oh wow. wow. Anyways, well, if you have, I was gonna say, if you have oh. thoughts on Megalopolis, call in. But no, I don't. I think we're good. You don't want to hear that. Wow. wow. But if you have a city of the day, we want to get to that right now. Oh yes. Can you? Oh, wow. Okay. It's the city of the day. Let's clear the decks here. Oh wow. The city I of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, City of the Day is brought to you by Emodium Zero G. Are you a toilet soldier who loves floaters? Well, what if I told you that now your logs can fly? (laughs) I'd run for the hills. Introducing Emodium Zero G, the fresh new collab from NASA and Emodium that takes your deuces to a whole new level. After 40 years of research, scientists have produced drinkable helium isotopes that bind with your digestion tract to turn BMs into lighter than air logs. Simply drink two pints of Zero G before your meal. Then when it's time, go as usual. When you're done, (laughs) when you're done, get out of the way. Then use the included net to capture the little white blimps and release them outside. <laughs> what? what little white blimps? Uh, they turn white. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Watch them float into the sky and away from your property. They will stay airborne for up to six weeks, then fall from the heavens. And wherever they land, it's not your problem. So no more flushing. So your water bill will thank you. Emodium Zero G, now available without a prescription. Boy, am I excited to hear the Zero G song now. Zero G, now your lungs can fly. Wow. Thank you. Beautiful. That's a jingle. That's a jingle. That's a (laughs) beautiful. What a horrible, horrible, uh, no offense to my sponsor, but a horrible concept to think about. Your Sending little, your poos into the sky. Your shit's flying away. Whoa, yeah. there she goes. <laughs> kind of beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. All right, who's our city of the day? What's our city of the day? Plymouth, Massachusetts, baby. Plymouth, Plymouth, Mass. All right. Have you guys ever been around that area? No, but thank God because, I mean, th- I, mean I, I actually did stop by there. On the we way. went to Plymouth Rock once. Yeah, we did. It is, that is the worst tourist Rocket, destination man. in the world. It's just a, a rock. Yeah, it's dump. And it's, it's not the original spot where they moved it, right? Right. I think it was like in P-Town originally or something. P-town. Provincetown. I'll tell you something, man. Thank God, though, those pilgrims, they did their shit because this place was empty. It was, <laughs> it was nothing. Nobody had been here. It was yeah. beautiful, <laughs> wide a shit open. Hole. <laughs> it was a shit hole. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but beautiful wilderness. Yeah. Shitty. I should, I'm not going to contradict you. It was a shitty, <laughs> shitty place. <laughs> those grums came over here. And boy, do they make it nice. Clean the place belt up. buckle hats. <laughs> <laughs> they still have the pilgrims here. Did you know that? Nope. Is yeah, your yeah. dog deceased <laughs> behind you? <laughs> sir? Yeah, I killed it before uh, we, you, we started, so. Okay, nice. No, she's, she's alive. 
I mean, I don't see a rising oh, in the fall. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, right. that's the, the baby. Sure <laughs> she's the that's a real baby right there. Yeah. Hey, we, hot dogs. Are, there, are there pilgrims though? What were you saying? Um, well, there's the Plymouth Plantation, which Whoa. is a living history museum. They hire actors to play as pilgrims. Yeah. Oh, it must be know. Thanksgiving every day there. Do they hire Cranberry. anyone else that works on a plantation? In, to, like, in, the, in the Plymouth Plantation recreation. Like, do they hire, like, staff? Slave. What do you mean? Well, he's mind. going for, he's okay. trying to make a slave joke. Yeah. It's not even a joke. I'm curious. There you know what? They, I mean, they, make... renamed, they actually renamed the title of the museum. They call it the Plymouth P Patuxet Museum now because of the problematic con connotation with the word plantation. Mm. Okay. What about soup plantation? Is that place still going good, going well, going strong? I think that place went down they in COVID. Bankrupt. Oh, yeah. They did? Yeah. I heard People that there, there's go. one opened up again, though. People tell me because I made a plantation, soup plantation song. Once. A little, a little outcropping? They're starting yeah. to pop up pop places up. where they... It's not a bad buffet. I'm not really doing <laughs> soup these days. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, food fans. Yeah, with my heart condition, my doctor said, try to stay away from soup. Oh, soup, yeah. Really. Hot liquid? Yeah. Too shocking. Well, thank you very much. Plymouth, Mass. <laughs> uh, what a great city. Thanks, everybody. And uh, hi to Vic. Vic, you are my hero. Uh, I'm the self-proclaimed Vic head. So, oh, my uh, God. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Thanks so much. That's, that's very Vic, nice. Vic, do you want to share the news I shared oh, with yeah. you last night? Bye, baby yes, girl. Uh, Tim saw the new uh, half-hour documentary. That is not what I was, oh, that's not what I was looking for. I, I want to say there is one this. coming. I was looking at this Oh, situation. yes. Oh, yeah, I can show that, yeah. But there is a Mar-a-Lago documentary coming very soon, so stay stay aware of it. But I'll look at this. this to, uh, I'll send this to Matt. Yeah, Matt, this was a your... this was a big feather in my cap. I guess so. Um, well, I don't want to out him, but he is somewhere overseas. I guess you can imagine where he is. Um, Doing a little Vic uh, face hole in here. Friend of the show, oh. my mentor Bob Odenkirk sent me a uh, Vic face hole. Look at that. And he asked me to pass it along. To uh, wow. asked me to pass it along. To, be, to you, Vic. Incredible. Very cool. Yeah, how about that? Where is that? A little stash. It's somewhere in Japan. Oh. Is this uh, the, that, that action movie or something? Oh, the I sequel. think he's just tour. I think he's sightseeing. I don't know. Checking it out. That stash. Love it. I like the mustache on him. All right, maybe this might not be for public consumption. I don't. I didn't get permission, so let's oh. not belabor I, it. I don't know if it's a face hole. I think oh, it's, it's a, a face hole. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> so how you so you're 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 out here just uh, f feeling feeling out the just city, just humping stuff. Yeah, you know, just fine. Would you any, hump anything? You hump the Hollywood sign? Yeah, uh, I got I got in two of the O's. Uh, oh, right in the middle there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And uh, I tried to hump um, the Y. That was a little tough. Uh, tried that, to... that Y humps you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't kidding. No. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, I tried to get a meeting with Spielberg to hump him, but uh, he's a busy man. He's busy. Yeah. Speaking of that, Matt and I spent Sunday where at the Universal Studios. Really? You ever go over to Universal Studios? No, that's that's. Uh, you hump that? Did you hump that uh, shark or? No, I was with. You my, don't hump stuff. I was with my kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a great time. We got to get pictures of us at these things. I think folks would like to see that. They would, you think? Yeah, they sure. Me see me you. having a good time. I was there. Count around. Uh, count them three days after major heart surgery. Oh my Yay. God. I'm gonna. Should I start calling it heart surgery? Heart, sure, <laughs> it is. <laughs> heart what then would it be? It was not exactly heart surgery, but. What did What did they do exactly? It was an ablation. Mm. They stick a wire up my heart and zap some uh, tissue that is causing me. Discomfort. Oh, yeah, this is what you. This is what you look like. What do I look like? Yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. <laughs> that was me. Can you do have the full? Do you have it the looks like your that? shirt's covered in barf. I threw up. I threw <laughs> up on every, at Universal oh. Studios. Uh, yeah, I threw up on every ride. Oh, wow. Look at look at little Amelia there. She's. Oh my God. That's pretty good. Yeah. I tell you. The, Wait, Matt the, didn't even go on the ride. This is the scared? log flume. That, yeah, yeah, I don't. Matt's that daughter drop was too scary. Yeah, I would not too, go on that. Too short. The, the drop in this, this is the Jurassic Park ride. Oh. The, this is a significant drop. Uh-huh. Okay? <laughs> it's, it's no joke. My kids, my son, I almost cried from joy because he, at the end of this drop, uh -huh. he was like laughing like 
a maniac, really? like a lunatic from jo from pure like <laughs> adrenaline and joy. <laughs> like he was in heaven. He wanted That's to go on a do. So funny. Yeah, so funny. That's it. All right, let's fuck a let's take a caller. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's let Genevieve. Genevieve alive. Genevieve have the. Should I promote the? the um, people are. Even Doug was surprised that I wrote the introduction. Can you throw that over yeah, to me? Yeah, I, I wasn't aware that was going to happen. I was asked by the publisher to write an introduction to a collection of Hunter S. Thompson uh, oh, wow. stories, sure. which I did. It took me about a minute. I had my you know, assistant, I had dictated it Open, over to her. Yeah. Open AI. You know. Notes app. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was just like, they fixed all the typos, but... It came out pretty good. Anyways, people are like, why in the hell are you doing this? I don't know. Are you a big Hunter guy? Well, I was. You and were. I think I yeah. talk about it in the thing where I was like, when I was in high school, this was really, right. this stuff was cool. And now yeah. you grow up and you're like, well, you can't live your life like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be like. Hanging out with Hell's Angels. Shooting guns and doing yeah. drugs and all uh -huh. that stuff. But at the time, it was cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I point, make that point here. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not condoning any of his behavior. Uh -huh. Didn't we have that idea we're going to condone people, Matt? Oh, yeah. You're condoning. Yeah, we're going to. Every, on every show, we're condoning somebody. <laughs> Who are we going to condone today? <laughs> Who should we Shoot, condone? We gotta find someone to condone. <laughs> yeah. Francis Ford someone Coppola. Borderline. I'll do oh, that. Yeah. This is perfect. Because, as far, from what I understand, mm. He was accused <laughs> in the Variety newspaper, the, the trades. He was yeah. accused of, of sexual uh, misconduct. misconduct. Yeah. The coming. story turns out to be uh, erroneous. Right. Or just, hey, come on, he's 80. Yeah. Yeah. Leave the man alone. Yeah. Let him goose some. Like, what, he do, what, he goose somebody? Yeah, he goose somebody. Yeah. I'm coming day and night. Which is not, should not be The allowed. guy made Tucker the man in his dream. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> His testicles became swollen. <laughs> uh, did he do the Outsiders? No, Rumble. Oh, he did Rumble. He knows I'm breaking Wait, his did balls. he do the Outsiders? He might have done that. He too. might have done the Outsiders. Yeah, outside. I think he did that too. Find out. Uh, so, and the guy is an artist. He's, we're not going to love everything he does. Mm -hmm. He's a maniac in a lot of ways. He makes wine. He put it all on the line for this movie. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see some of you morons do that. <laughs> Put all your fucking money on the line right. and make art. But he'd been trying to make this for like 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. And was it worth like like sticking You'd with it? You'd have to ask him. All right. It You'd was have $120 million. Well, Matt, million you made dollars. the point that he felt like he might have gotten fleeced on a couple of <laughs> I things. think he was taken yeah. for a ride. Everybody was all billing these vendors were like, <laughs> yeah. top dollar. Francis is footing the bill. He doesn't care. <laughs> More CGI. Hey, it's not a Marvel movie. That's, yeah, at that's, least it's not a Marvel movie. It's not a Marvel movie. movie. Speaking of which, say. apparently that Joker 2 is a bad movie. That's what I've heard. Which yeah. I can get. I, I, was a, I was way ahead of that. I thought that first yeah. one I couldn't get through. I didn't like it, the first one. We've been keeping Genevieve here hanging. Oh, Genevieve, please. Oh, jeez, sorry. <laughs> right. Please. They don't want to hear about What do you think Joker? of Joker? Well, she's oh. muted. There she is. Start again? Oh, I'm no, you're good. We can hear you now. Like I didn't see the Joker yet, the new one, but I saw Megalopolis and I liked it. Good vibes. Oh, wow. wow. I mean, good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that. I like this. Just like, you know, she liked it. She was yeah. like, it's just a regular movie. What's you the know, big deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I missed last week's show because I was at a concert. <laughs> okay, what yeah. concert? I went to Chapel Roan. You know, Chapel. Oh, wow. Oh, she's back? I thought she uh, gave up on music. Yeah. People were yelling at her. Uh, she she took some shows off to take care of her mental health, but she played her biggest show in Iowa in Council Bluffs, and I saw her. It was incredible. Oh, wow. Wow. People love the Chapel Rowan. They're, yeah. I haven't heard anything that's been like, holy shit. But you yeah. know who, lo you should look this up. Joe Mandy post posted this. This is a good, this is funny. And I actually kind of, I kind of, I mean, I like this guy, but... Uh, J Josh Gad was on uh, <laughs> Drew Barrymore. I, yeah. <laughs> How come I haven't seen this clip? I, I <laughs> yeah. need to see. I don't it. know if you can find this quickly. What is it? Uh, it's in his he, he, he let he shares with us his thoughts uh, on Chapel Run. Oh boy. 
Well, I, I had a I had a fun little riff uh, where I was saying uh, Chappelle Roan, like Chappelle Show. Chappelle, yeah. Chappelle Roan. But then somebody pointed out it's not pronounced that way. So no, no. I can't, I can't do it. I can't, you know, you can comedian always it. getting censored, so. I just learned about Chappelle Roan on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember it was a well, couple weeks ago. At that wedding, they, were pl- they played, right. and everyone's singing. I'm like, I've never heard this song. I feel this oh. way all the time. But I like, I like it. I'm suddenly scared. like. Oh, yeah. Like a door opens and everybody I know is in there, uh-huh. and I'm like, and they've been known about it for years. Yeah. I'm like, where? Why couldn't I get an email on this two years ago? Did you have a brat summer? I did actually. <laughs> I was in New York. I mean, talk about guy on the cusp. I'm mm-hmm. at your show. Right. Right. That that uh, well, Dan Lakota runs. Dan's show, yeah. Corn beef. A, yeah, corn beef. And then uh, I'm doing this movie with Julia Fox. Talk about mm-hmm. Brat Summer. Nice. And acting with Julia Fox, that's pretty on the edge. Yeah. I mean, that's top, that's that's hip shit. There you go. But I still don't know who Chapel Roan is, so what am I supposed to do? Who's Julia Fox? Come go. on, Vic. I don't, no, why would you I know? know? Did you know find her. this Josh She's Gad OG clip? Brat. I never I did find, I, don't, found I have no Gad. idea who she is. You didn't? I did find Gad. Oh, okay. I've heard of Michael J. Fox, Yeah. I don't know about this. this is something different. This is oh, here, here we like go. This. I think we should just always watch Drew Barry more clips because there's probably just gold that we're just not even paying attention to. Gold in them are hills. overload. I'm just so, do you guys sing the songs together? Are you dancing to them, listening to them in the car? Is it on at all times like it, us? So, they're so tired of me playing only Chapel Rowan now in my car. <laughs> I mean, they introduced me, they regret it now. Uh, their like father decided the to go on TikTok. <laughs> and do uh, a version of one of her songs. Uh, and <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, this Come is a Tony Club. Oh, no. yeah. Dad, what are you and doing? Uh, something called no, My Naked no. Belly. Um, and Wait, but he's fat. So- Come on. Thank you. Applause. Oh, so- my God. I was standing a standing, standing of my children's <laughs> toys. Um, I'm, I'm all in. I think she is Did you hear incredible. that, guys? He's all in I on Chapel Roan. just honest and fierce she is about her opinions mm-hmm. and about, like, what she expects from people. By the way, she posted something on her Instagram I encourage everybody to read, and it's about a woman with that. <laughs> 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 I was really inspired. All right, thank you, Josh. I, the, the, he came... He, I mean, this is big. Yeah, yeah, he's all in. The headline is this. Josh Gad, all in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, find you, out, find out condone, who Josh Gad is all in on. <laughs> Click here. You condone him? I condone him. I think he's yeah. fine. I mean, we Gad's can goof condoned. on him. Condone that. Josh Gad, all in. <laughs> <laughs> Chapel Roan, condoned. But she got heat from the left, I guess, because she couldn't, she couldn't come out and support anybody for president. Right. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I kind of get it. Where you're just like, don't ask me. I don't want to be. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're like, well, come on. Either you're gonna vote. I think for, she made too many videos. About it. Video. Yeah. Oh. Well, she made like several videos, like clarifying her stance. But it's like nobody, like everybody's just nobody's watching these, or, or the people that are attacking her aren't watching these videos. They're just no. like, yeah. They're the trolls online that I've been dealing with for exactly. twenty years. Yeah. They just they shouldn't be. They should be totally ignored. But we can't. We can't ignore them. Can't you should be so lucky to have ha- haters. I don't know if you have any haters. Uh, <laughs> just the guy in the mirror. Oh no, I'm kidding. I love myself. <laughs> We've got uh, something we like to call "Dop of the Morning" for you, folks. <laughs> All right, who's the Dop of the Morning? We have we got two today. Uh, first up, this is uh, from our friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it looks a little more like Nick Na- oh, Nanny. Yeah, uh, yeah it's true. a little more like Nick Nanny than Maybe. Vic Berger. <laughs> Fred Angelo. Angelo on the left. Yeah. This is kind of a. Say so it's a Nick Nick Berger situation. There's right? kind of a Kyle Mooney on the left there. That for sure. Oh yeah. yeah, but it's kind of fun because he's oh, got. Look at this. You know that oh, to yeah. compare. Real deal. This is we give you. Know, it <laughs> it's like a combination of you Nick Nanny, not... Vic Berger, and Brett Weinstein. <laughs> I'll take it. I think a, a, he's like a thick Albert Brooks. It does yeah, yeah. very yeah. Brooksian. Yeah. And then we got uh, <laughs> get this. Oh, wow. that's good. Oh my God. Is that supposed to be you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can see that. That's pretty wow, good. Wow. Yeah. Sure. Not bad. Is that just a rando in the street somebody grabbed? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's um, 
he's a YouTuber of some sort. Uh, cool. I forget his name. Probably. Could put on glasses to do a better match. No, that's you. okay, Matt. We get it. We saw. <laughs> we did the side by side picture. Cool. Cool, man. Anybody on the old hotline? Cool it down. Uh, let's check in there. Oh yeah, we got a bone picker. Oh, we got a Karen. My name is Karen with a bone to pick. Karen. Karen, you're on the hotline. Karen. Are you a Karen? I could be. Oh, the auto, the whatever. The What's your name, Darren? Carson. 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 Mm. How can we help you? Yeah. Got it right. Close. Uh, well, I mean, I was, I was calling. I have a bone to pick, but first order of business. Uh, you reminded me. I I have um, one of the original Office Hours T-shirts that I wear a lot. Um, I get a lot of heat from it. It's a picture of Tim. Sorry, I'm working. A picture of Tim uh, looking in through a window on the front and on the back. It says, "I love peeping." <laughs> hmm. I don't remember making that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a bootleg you know? job. I have. Huh. What are you working? Are you putting a sandwich together at Subway? Uh-huh. <laughs> I can hear like slaps of something. <laughs> slaps of meat. Slaps of tuna. I'm making tuna. All right, what's your bone to pick? Tuna, oh, tuna fish sandwich. It? Oh, I just, I mean, yeah, my bone to pick? Yeah, besides I mean, the just, bone and the just, tuna that the you're making. Huh? Yeah, I just, what the hell, Tim, I guess. <laughs> You also don't have to wear the shirt. Sorry for peeping is what it says? No, he says yeah, he what the hell peeping. for making him buy that I love shirt? Peeping. I what love... the hell are you talking about? All right. Do we want to make fun of my uh, Rolling Stone picture? Yeah. All right. Bye, Karen. Hello. We thought we had shot our load. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday. <clears throat> Bye. See ya. So listen. Let me just. Oh, God. Look at people laughing. I can hear people laughing. Yeah, I can hear my wife laughing. What do you want me to do? So, <laughs> I got. Is that you watching Megalopolis? Or? No. Why would I be watching Meg- Megalopolis in the woods? <laughs> taking a leak in the bushes. <laughs> no, I'm not taking a leak in the bushes. He's doing his peeping. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> finding a good spot. Uh,. Here's the deal. I got this record coming out, and I'm just getting, you know, I'm doing the rounds. I'm mm-hmm. doing press. I'm trying to get the word out. Yeah. Now, a lot of these things are, like, very annoying. One is, like, I want you to keep track of what you're eating for four days, and we're going to do a story about what you eat. <laughs> mm-hmm. and I'm like, gives a shit. And actually, with this one, I'll tell you, I did it, I was like, yeah, you know what would be interesting? I did it when I was on tour. I'd be like, well, that'll be kind of cool. I'll, 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 what do you do when you're on tour? Behind what do you scenes. eat? Yeah. yeah. And then I did that, and they go, no, no, it's 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 set to happen this the week that we're mm-hmm. in right now. Uh, I'm like, well, what the fuck is the difference? Now I'm just going to be talking about the turkey sandwich in my, I eat and, like, the <laughs> fucking kid's spaghetti I eat. And, yeah. And I, like, there's nothing. It's going to be a drag. Anyway, so I'm doing all these fucking... Podcast mm-hmm. nobody's heard of. I'll do your podcast if you want. Nobody will hear about it. <laughs> Anyways, but the one, the big one was we're right before the the uh, Central Park show. They, my pre- publicist is like, we got you Rolling Stone. Oh man, Rolling Stone's coming, and they want to do a big sit down with you. And I'm like, that's that's actually cool. Like, yeah. that's gonna be good. I could. This guy was a fan. He got. He liked the record. He uh-huh. wanted to talk about the music. Was he like a thirteen-year-old kid, like almost famous? Or? He was not. That's it. Oh. No, I, that, that would have been cute. But unfortunately, it's just a typical <laughs> journalist. But then they bring the photographer, photographer around, uh-huh. and he goes, "Where, where should we?" Sh-? Yeah. So he goes, "We're we're in Central Park, mm-hmm. and this photographer, nice guy, but." I don't know what happens, Rob. Like, I can't be goofy. Yeah, you're I can't serious be, now. I mean, I could be. Yeah, I could be. I could be like this. Be, <laughs> why don't we? <laughs> you have to pee me right but then, what does that do for me? I mean, that's fun, at least. Yeah. Were you smiling in any of them? 
I know because I know like smiling is like Sears robot smile. Sears you picture. Can smile, nobody gives a shit. But so then he's firing away, firing away, uh -huh. and we're in the park. So of course there's trees everywhere, and he's backing up, Lots and he's getting, he's hump. like move over here. He's like I'm gonna get. To, I'm like, I know how this is gonna. Go. I know what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna right. look like an asshole. <laughs> You kind of look but, like uh, that you're at the next Trump rally on the outskirts. You know what I mean? All I need to do is go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, they should have given you a gun to Yeah, I'm with. on the ninth hole at uh, Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, I don't know what to do. Because, I mean, he probably took 100 pictures of me. and they That's the I don't only one a, in the article? There's a couple others that aren't good either. <laughs> They're fine. Let's see. Them? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, That's not a bad photo. It's just, I guess it's a little. Do you have the others? It's a little. I think if you were looking at a normal, like if you're looking at fucking, um, you know, who is a good example of a, an analog? Mraz? Jason Mraz. <laughs> <laughs> the bare naked ladies. And the glass. The Britney I don't know. Spears yeah, you should, be sitting on a, you should be sitting on some stairs, kind of like. I want you, and there's going to be more of these kind of pictures coming out because the New York Times style thing is going to come out. That might be out already. New York Times style. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, and these photographers come around, and I and I just like I'm like, all right, I'll stand here, and I just look. Yeah. Because I don't want to be like this. Huh. I don't like my smile. <laughs> And I'm not happy. Do they give mm. you directions? Like, yeah. okay, lean down, look that way. Look over here. Sometimes right. they'll tell me to look over Very here. Yeah. Interesting. Keep your chin. They I don't do like my... a thing where like, tell me a story about your children. But then what you get? What do you get out of that? You get mm. the look, the, a still of you in mid sentence. So you're like. <laughs> <laughs> But then, like, you know, what am I supposed to do? I want to see the, can we see, see the other photos in the article? I, guess. Yeah, I, I didn't see any others. I oh. just checked. There's one on their, uh, the Rolling Stone Instagram version of it. But it was a nice interview. I, Anywhere I mean, you're laying down. I just want to say, I'm not, like, I'm very grateful, and I'm happy that people are writing about it, and it's just part of the game that I'm not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. It's much more fun, obviously, in the comedy world to dress up and do a crazy photo shoot. Oh, here we go. Yeah, but now I'm just like, well, this is, this, is, this is who I am. This is what I look like. Yeah. yeah these are less peep. They're less peeping. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's see these were. Yeah, oh. that's, that's better. It is. Whatever, okay. man. It's like, it's embarrassing. Daddy. <laughs> Another <laughs> peeper. He's like, who's the creep in the woods? <laughs> But isn't there like, I mean, there's like, what's that Graham? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, get those, I, get, I, get. <laughs> I hate it. It's like Graham from. Uh... Graham Linehan. No. no. <laughs> uh, Graham Nash. Uh, the oh, yeah, Songs yeah. from Beginners album. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of looks like, there's one of those yeah, covers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that one. I don't know. It's, <gasps> all, it's all sucks, man. I hate, I hate done? being alive. Mm. Heel, I heel, heel, <laughs> being heel. alive. I just, no more pictures of me, okay? Well, you, should it, follow, you should follow Graham's lead. Look, he smiles all the time in his photos. Let me see. Graham's looking. Look What's at this. Doing? He's happy to be there. Let me see Graham. Get me a Graham. Oh, I should shit. do that John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Oh, man. <laughs> I showed, Ellie came back. Because I got a show tonight at Scribble, by the way. Oh, that's Scribble. Here's Graham. Here's I'm not going to do Graham. Oh, I don't is. got those kind of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? What is he, the Joker? <laughs> You're gonna be like, like this. Have you ever seen? Uh, you gotta get a photos lip of Hans Zimmer. No, let me Hans see. Zimmer. Let's look he Hans has a Zimmer. very tight, painful-looking smile in like every photo. Oh yeah, look photo. at that. That's funny. Yeah, it's a nice you... natural smile. I'm not making fun of Graham Nash's smile, by the way. It's just like if I tried that, it would be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Hans Zimmer is taking a shit. Yeah, yeah he's right. always. Look at that. <laughs> but I show Ellie was over because I have a show tonight at Scribble. <laughs> We're gonna play some songs tonight at Scribble for a benefit. And I was like, oh, I gotta show you this picture of me. And she's like, all right, I'll give you my unvarnished opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. I showed it to her. She burst out laughing. Oh god! Burst out laughing. Disgraziato. Playing the guitar makes Han happy, though. Look at that. I didn't know he played oh, the guitar. Oh, wow. Hans Zimmer rocks out, yo. He really does. All right, your thoughts on the picture or anything else? Anyone wants to chat? Come bring it, bring Tim, him can in. can I? Here. Well, we're at, break, we're at break time. Can I plug something real quick? Yeah, well, that, this is a great time to, pl to, pl to plug. Well, first of all, I, I had a thought about the photos. You know what I don't like is whenever I do a show, people just, a comedy show, they'll grab a photo from that they oh, Google. Oh, God. The top photo of me is like this really... Let's take a look. I just don't like it. Let's take a and look. And you guys have used it. I'm looking all like super pale and like bloated. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Which one? 
I don't show it. I don't want to. I don't. Well, you can't tell that story and then get not it show off. it. I want to wipe it from the net. Which one? That one. That's a See, nice that, one. That one. No, no, not the skateboard. That one's cool. Upper right, yellow hoodie. What's wrong with that? I hate. I don't know. I just don't like that. Well, look at so look old. Up, I just sent <laughs> nice. you. If you also, type it's in, old. Matt, just look at the one I just sent you. If you type in my name, look what comes up. <laughs> well, probably that guy with the sweaters, right? <laughs> anyway, people are no. always using that. Oh, this? No, the very first one. The, yeah, it's fucking oh, Scott Jet- Bayo. Jet- ba- no, not that. No, that's <laughs> the very first one. <laughs> All right. Just type in Vic Burgers. It almost comes up with Scott Bayo for me. I just. Uh-huh. just no type. evidence of that. All right. Never you have a different I have it right here. Look, look. Don't type my name, okay? Where? Just please don't. Oh no, is there something we should have? Just should, don't. We didn't do just due don't diligence. Look at All right, we're gonna be back with. Um, Wait, can, uh, let me plug my oh, thing. Yeah. I'm Doug. I'm DJ. I have a show tonight. I'm D- he's like, I'm. D- here's my plug. <laughs> I'm DJ Doug Pound. <laughs> I'm DJing at. A, I'm actually DJing music at the Nouns Fest tonight. Wait, you can't the- plug that because oh. I'm doing something else. Well, people can choose which no! one they want to go to. Is yours a is yours a, a benefit show fundraiser? Yeah, it raises funds for different things. Well, I uh, forbid you to go to Doug's thing. <laughs> On November 1st, Two Wet Crew is back. Oh, wow. And right. we're doing a show at Permanent Records. Whoa. Right. And Dave England is going to be in oh, the wow. video. And awesome. that's going to be a fun night. So, And I might come by to do some puns. And we'll Tim, see. I asked Tim, of course, first person I asked, and he just ghosted me. No, I did not. Oh. <laughs> Take that back. I said, I did not go. I, right away, I said, I know. You boy, said, that is the day I after you Halloween. you have something I else got, to do. No, I just want to make clear with the wife and say, like, can I go out? Because the kids might be trick-or-treating. Is, I don't is know what the trick-or-treating going to be on is. Halloween or on the day after? Is that no, the, the day after? Day. It's on the day. day. Well, on. that's November 1st. No, that yeah. So there's no Halloween activity. Well, we over. celebrate. All, um, That's why it sounds like a pile of baloney. It'll be the weekend before. We Thank celebrate you. All Saints Day, which is on November first. We have <laughs> Boondock Saints too. That's right. Yeah. Um, Candy all right. Cobra. We'll be back with Nick and Claire. Okay. That's right. We'll be in in the studio. That's a big surprise. Thank you. We're talking about Tom Sharpling's wedding. The blowing instruments. <laughs>